In this presentation, we're going to look at sample spaces. So the sample space of an experiment is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So here's two simple examples to start us off with. Suppose we toss a coin one single time, and the sample space in this case would be the heads or the tail. Uh, for example, if we threw a six-sided die, the outcome would be the face that the die shows, and the sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Let's look at a more complex example. Suppose one urn contains three balls, one red, one blue, one green, and a second urn contains three balls numbered 1, 2, and 3. An experiment consists of two balls being drawn at random, one from each urn. The sample space is as follows. So we have, first off, let's say we draw the red ball. And the ball that's numbered one, or the red ball, or the ball that's numbered two, and so on. So for every combination of colored ball and numbered ball, the, each of those will be sample points in our sample space. Just to be clear, we call each of these elements of the set a sample point. So for argument's sake, green and two, that will be one of the nine sample points in this sample space. Let's look at the second example. Suppose, because suppose we were uh, playing a coin toss game played by players A and B. Player A tosses a fair coin three times, and the number of heads being the score for player A. So three times, and just importantly, it's the number of heads is what we are interested in, and the number of heads is the score. Player B tosses a, co a coin four times with the number of heads being the score for B. So four times and the number of heads being the score. So write out the sample space for the scores of both A and B. Now in this particular case, it's the scores we're interested in. So the scores for A is zero. He could throw a head zero times, one, two, or three times. For B, we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 heads. So this, this example is very different from the urn example I used previously because we have a, what we're interested in here is specifically the scores, not the actual combination of heads and tails. Write out the sample space for the outcomes of C, where C is the difference of the two scores, B minus D. Well, first off, let's look at the best possible result for B, which is 4, and the worst possible result for A, which is 0. So the maximum, the, ma the highest possible value of this sample space is going to be uh, 4. And consider the opposite case where B gets his worst possible score, 0, and A gets his best possible score, 3. The lowest possible value in this sample space is minus 3. Just be clear, we're using the direction B minus A. So the sample space for C is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that concludes our presentation.